distinguished in the corners of American society. I guess it's people's success stories. Uh, the sky makes me feel awe. Have a pipe falls. And the Grand Canyon, for one. <laughs> the most common experience involved a panoramic view, like the one that you see behind me here. Now, other people just aren't very visual. So someone who looks at the Grand Canyon wow. and goes, eh, I guess that's pretty, I guess, might sit and hear a new symphony for the first time and be absolutely blown away. Like, you want to take a deep breath, but you can't. It's a positive feeling, most definitely. It just gives you a perspective of how little you are and how big and old and majestic this earth is. Positive emotions, like many emotions, are arousing. They increase physiological activation in some way. We found a really unique effect for awe. There are multiple influences on how fast your heart beats, and one of them comes from the sympathetic or fight-flight branch of the <gasps> nervous system. And during awe, while people were looking at pictures, like pictures of the Grand Canyon, is not necessarily that their heart rate slowed down, but that this particular source of influence on the heart, called cardiac pre-ejection period, that's a very direct indicator of how much the fight-flight system is trying to speed the heart up. And that took a substantial step down. And one thing that tells us is that when people sometimes talk about awe experience as soothing or slowing the body down in some way, this effect was consistent with that. And so we're really interested in following that up with some other physiological measures as well.